Hello and welcome to yet a quick tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to create frosted glass um, translucent materials and which will be very good for interior setups or uh, whichever designs that you're going out for. So um, I have here a quick setup of a window in an office space and at the top we have the glass materials at the top and bottom and I've set up a quick principle BSDF setup for the frosted glass but we're going to tweak it and then be able to create a very good um, first glass effect. So to begin with, I have my shader editor opened up. Now you can just quickly call on that, then you open your shader editor up. And what we're going to do here is we are going to get rid of the principal BSDF. Now, um, the nodes that we are going to be working with is the mix shader. We're going to combine a few more nodes together into the mix shader to give us the effect that we want. So what we do have here is our Fresnel. Second is our Refraction BSDF. Now to call on the shortcuts to add in your nodes is the Shift A. So with Shift A, then you click on search. You can then begin to type out whichever nodes that you have. A handy way to be able to uh, quickly have your nodes set up. So we have our first now. <clears throat> this is going to help us control the index of refraction, which is a, a very common uh, value to help us be able to control the transparency of glass. So next is our refraction and the glossy BSDF. All three together mixed together on the mix shader would help us to create our glass material. But we're going to be specific with frosted glass. So to begin with, we'll add our factor in here. We'll add our BSDF for the refraction to the first input of the mix shader and the principal BSDF. And we'll finally connect the shader to the surface. So if you take a close look, even though we are not in the render view, you can actually tell that this two, there's a difference. This one is brighter and this one's slightly a uh, little bit dimmer. But this is going to help us to be able to create the effect even a bit more. So we're going to switch to our render view to let it begin. And what we are going to do is we'll add our value whilst we wait on it to render. And we'll duplicate this. So the index of ref uh, reflection or the refraction, yeah, we're going to control it with this value over here. So we'll connect this and we'll give it a value of 1.52. And this one, this is the special one here. This will control the roughness of both the refraction and the glossy BSDF. Now, this looks, this is very good for clear glass, but now if you want to be able to create frosted glass, we are going to control the value. So we're going to make this 0 0.25 and watch as the glass, frosted glass normally gives you the look of, you know, not too clear. Uh, it's a translucent material. It allows light, but not to, uh, the clearer view that you have with clear glass over here, it kind of dissipates the, the light rays within before, you know, uh, coming to your eye. So you have this blurry look, almost blurry look. So depending on how you want to depict your frosted glass, you can go higher with a value over here and you're going to get a very good looking frosted glass. So this is a quick tip on how to be able to create this effect your own self. And as a bonus tip, we are going to learn how to be able to add in your own patterns to your design. So let's say, for example, you want to be able to add maybe the company logo or maybe some um, images or stuff into it so that you have the image to be the transparent area or the logo or the pattern or whichever uh, your desired design is going to look like. We are going to quickly add in one. Of this nature so it's a very handy way to you know customize your design and uh, look and feel of the space so with shift a we're going to add in our image texture now 
for this to work, the image has to be black and white. And normally the black areas is where it's going to, you know, uh, going to be the transparent area. So I created a design pattern myself. And so we would connect it to, we will disconnect the Fresnel effect. Disconnect this. This is going to be the transparent areas. And then the white areas would be the frosted area. Look at the image that we used for the, for the pattern. And what you have here is a black and white image that was used. So uh, this is a quick way. You can use your own designs to be able to come up with this and you know create your own unique um, frosted glass effect over it. So this is a very quick setup. You can do this on that three minutes or one minute and you save your frosted glass, whichever patterns you want to create, you can use this design to do so. So um, this is a quick uh, video on how to be able to create your own uh, pattern frosted glass, very effective for interior designs. Thank you and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.